Morning everybody, we're out here again doing some sheep work, sort of getting ready for shearing which will be happening in a few days hopefully if it doesn't rain too much, which it shouldn't. Um, at the moment we're just separate or just drafting off some sheep into two different groups, they've got two different tags on them so we're separating green tag sheep into a separate pen by themselves and then sheep with a white tag we are separating into another pen because they've got lambs with them so obviously all the lambs and all the white tag sheep are going in the same pen. So yeah, that's what we're doing at the moment. Um, as you would have just seen before, with all the shaky footage and running around, oh, I chucked the GoPro on the dog. So I'm not sure how that footage turned out, but there's Molly, a fat little kelpie sitting there. So we'll see how that footage turned out, and uh, that might become a thing of uh, do a regular dog camp. See how it goes. So we'll keep drafting these sheep off, and then I think there's another mob we've got to bring in and do something else with it, so see what happens. Hey viewers, Cam said before we're doing a bit of sheep work before shearing. These are our white Suffolk fat lambs. And these are their, well this one's one of the 40 odd mothers. Um, so we've just drafted younger sheep off. 
up near the shed. These ones in here where the alpaca is. That's the mothers of these lambs here. We're going to put an extra tag in the fat lambs and a different coloured tag in their mothers that we use so we can run them all as one mob with the other sheep out the back there after we've shorn them. Um, so we can identify them when these fellas get a bit older and later on down the track. So that's what we're doing today. I just finished tagging the lambs, now we've got the mums of those lambs in and we're tagging those ones as well. Alright, we've just finished tagging those ewes um, and now I'm just out of the paddock where Dad got them from originally so he's just going to bring them out now and then I'm just out here just make sure they don't run up the laneway and then they'll go in there. Uh, and I'm not sure what we're doing after that. I don't know if we might be done. There's another mob of sheep we've got to draft off and split, but we might be doing that tomorrow. So, yeah, once he brings these sheep in, see what we're up to next. Alrighty, so we've finished all the sheep work for the day. Um, yeah, as I said before, I think Dad wants we're bringing the other mob in tomorrow. And he's going to draft that off, whether I'm here or not. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Uh, but now we are mucking around with the wool shed, actually. So you may have noticed in some of the videos, with the wool shed behind me, that some of the roof is peeled off like a sardine can. Um, yeah, we had a really big windy day one day, and it just whoosh, straight off the top. So what we're going to try and do, we're going to just flip it back over and we're just going to chuck some old um, fence posts that have got a heap of concrete on them up on there just to hold it down because it's just, yeah, pain in the ass flapping around and if there's no roof on there, obviously you can't put sheep in there because it'll get wet if it rains. Um, not that it's keeping much water out because it's all buggered up and 
Why not? So we're just going to do the best we can and try and peel back down. This is one of the things on the to-do list is get the shed roof um, redone and this back wall re-stumped because all the stumps are a bit hairy down. I think because the wood's rotted away, I'll show you. So there is meant to be wood that goes all along there and all the stumps, but as you can see, there isn't. So there's nothing really holding up this back wall other than uh, the wood going to the corners. So that's all right. It's one of the things we'll get done in hopefully soon. Um, yeah, so it's waiting for that to come back down and we're gonna try and peel this roof back over and just hold it down with some uh, concrete on some posts. So these couple here, we'll try and chuck them on top and hopefully that'll work. So back at you in a minute. one of these old overhead gantry things, A-frames. One's one there that's been chopped up something else. I think we used it to make the uh, forks, that three-point linkage loader. Anyway, he's gonna try and plop that on the top of the bit of tin we have peeled down. No way, even if the roof will be able to support it, hopefully it can. I don't really wanna have that come fall down on my head, but we'll see what happens. So he's gonna try and plop it on the roof, and then, yeah, we'll try and peel the rest of that tin back over. Well, we flipped the roof back over onto the wool shed. Um, obviously, it's very holy in the sense that it is blessed by Christ, so that's a good thing. Um, yeah, and probably a bit of rain through too. So that's one thing done. As I said, we'll get it fixed one day. And we've got the time and the money. So now we're just gonna patch a little hole in a wire fence underneath the shed where we put some sheep sometimes when it's gonna be wet. So we're gonna drag some wire into there and fix that up and I'll show you what I'm talking about when I get under there. Alrighty, what I'm doing at the moment is patching up a hole in this bit of fence down here. So we're underneath the floor of the wool shed. So this part's where um, there's no slatted timbers above, so we can put sheep in here when there's wet weather and we need them to stay dry. Um, yeah. But this fence here stops them going underneath the slatted part of the shed where they can have crap and whatnot fall on them. Um, yeah, so there was a hole here where the old wire had busted away and there's a little bit of hole down further. So we're just putting some chicken wire up and just tying up a bit of tie wire just to make sure they don't get out um, yeah so that's what under here looks like and there's just a little gate there that goes into the yards and that's how you know, that's how we let them in and out so we'll tie this up and uh, yeah it should be done
There we go. Like a new one. Right, so we finished up for the day. Gonna come back out tomorrow. We'll draft off that other model sheep. Um, fix all that up and then Dad or we'll both pen it up later after that night and get them all in and penned up ready to go for Thursday. And then everything goes to plan. We should be shearing Thursday morning. So back out in the morning. Good morning everybody. So I think the plan is today we've got that other mob of sheep in. We're gonna split up. Um get that done pretty quick, I think, this morning. And then I think Dad said last night on the phone that Shane, who did our shearing last year, he's come he'll be doing the shearing again this year as well. He's gonna come down, he's got a bit of spare time today, he's gonna to crush a few sheep. Um, I don't know how many he's gonna do. I don't even know if we're doing all of them or not. But he's gonna come down and do some crutching and that'll finish off the day. So I'll wait for Dad to come down here and then, yeah, we'll get into it. Hey viewers, we're here at the sheep yards again doing more sheep work. We drafted off the sheep and lambs into their different age groups and whatnot. These blue tag ones over here, they're the non mule sheep, along with those few up there beside the old shed. You get paid a little bit more money for your wool because nowadays people like to know that. The sheep haven't been uh, mules because they reckon that's a bad idea, but it's not. But anyway, those two mobs are the same. Those few stragglers here are young ones that will go out with this mob here because of their age and their wools uh, be a lot better than these old birds. They're the real old birds down the back there. Um, which belong to the other 40 that we put in lamb to the white Suffolk ram. And we've just got the lamb separated, so it's a bit easier to handle. We're grown sheep at the moment, so we're gonna uh, just muck around a bit more, sort a few more things out, and Shane, our shearer, is coming this afternoon and he's gonna crutch up a few, because I never had time this year. So anyway, that's it.
All right, so we just finished getting that mob we've been drafting this morning into the, they're either in the shed or they're in the yard. Um, we've got a few in the shed now. So we're gonna go get that other mob that we drafted yesterday. Bring them back in, draft the lambs off and pen them up as well in the yards. And then we'll wait for Shane to get here. Right over So Shane our shearer showed up. So what we're doing first up is we're just crutching the sheep. So we're gonna crutch as many as we can today and then we'll come back tomorrow morning and we'll keep crutching them. And once we finish crutching them all, we'll uh, yeah we'll begin shearing. So there's only probably a couple hours left in the day, so we'll see how many we get done and then yeah we'll be back tomorrow. Oh, 
Radio everybody, we're finishing off the day. Um, Shane's left and we just let the lambs out into one of the paddocks. Um, let another mob of sheep out that have been crushed already, it's just into the other little paddock behind the shearing shed so they can have a drink out of the trough. Uh, I think Shane, that just said that Shane crushed 81. So that's a little bit that we don't have to do tomorrow, which will be good. So he's gonna come out tomorrow, finish the crutching, and then once we've done that, we can start doing the shearing. So we'll end this video here and then I think this video is coming out on a Wednesday, so the following Sunday will be a little bit of crutching and mainly shearing. So, see you then.